All right, Spencer. Tell them your name. Tell them what we're gonna do today. My name's Spencer, and we're going to I love me. Yes. Good job. You did great. All right, yeah, so we are going to grind. This is all the burger me and my wife cut up last night from the deer I shot on Saturday. Um, I'm going to mix in regular burger to add in fat um, and just kind of make the meat go a little bit uh, further. I got some sausage I'll mix in as well. Uh, just make some breakfast sausage and uh, use the grinder. So I want to just talk about a couple tips on how to grind uh, basically wild game meat. Um, you want to have... The, the neck and the auger inside cold. Uh, there are, um, I saw the Cabela's Carnivore uh, grinder has like an ice pack you can hook on there and uh, it'll help it so your meat isn't just mushy when it comes through. It'll cut cleaner, um, it'll be a lot better. And also you want your meat to be cold. This has been in the fridge um, overnight and uh, so it's ready to go. Um, for me, I stuck this in the fridge for about 30 minutes so it can be nice and cold, it'll help. Um, that's one thing. The other thing, when you're making your burger, the, the awesome thing is that you get to be the person who makes sure it's cleaned up nice and nice and good. You can get all the white stuff, any kind of silver, uh, any kind of tendon uh, off the meat. We are going to basically grind this up and uh, what I like to do is at least do two times. I'm going to grind it once and then start mixing the meat into it um, and just kind of cycle it and uh, get, get it through three times so it's nice and um, nice and ground so um, here we go so you want to make sure your hands are clean of course and uh, just start putting this meat in here and get it all full in the hole um, before you start it up my lovely assistant Carly my wife who helped me uh, go through all this and cut it up yesterday for like a couple hours um, so it's good to have two people that you can uh, Auger or use the plunger to auger and uh, switch the bowls as it goes through. So we're going to start going, and uh, it's pretty fun. Here we go. So we're gonna just do some regular sausage mixed in with some bur uh, some of the deer burger. Um, you don't want to like the really fat stuff. It's gonna gum it up, so you kind of want to pace it. So we have. Want to throw some deer in there first? Yep. Yes, that's good. Um, it's gonna be more heavy on the sausage side. We're just kind of making it, making the making the sausage go a little further. Go ahead and throw some deer. Good. So we're gonna throw some salt and pepper on this too, so we don't lose a ton of seasoning. Perfect. Yeah. So we're just doing a little thing of sausage. These like are perfect, half power bags. Yeah, perfect for uh, just doing some eggs in the morning with some sausage mixed in. Not necessarily a patty, but just something you throw on there and break up. Pretty you can always thaw it out in the fridge too and make patties like the day you cook it. If you but want patties. I like uh, I like to make it really flat so in the freezer they're all going to be able to stack really nice when they're frozen. Alright, so we've got all the meat has gone through twice, so this will be the third time. And... Uh, we're going to work as a team and get it done. ground. I think 27% uh, fat was too much. It yeah. uh, got a little too gummed up. But uh, we'll bag it up and uh, call it good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun and uh, it's good to get the family involved. Very for my wife helping me out.
all packed and in the freezer. Ready to go for winter.